meeting to order. At this time, I would like to call this meeting to order. We do have a quorum present. At this time, I would like to recognize Mr. Tyler to introduce the authority and reason under which this appeal is being brought to the board. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, members of the State Board of Education. Uh, the Charleston County School District contacted the South Carolina Department of Education seeking the State Board of Education's approval of an athletic waiver pursuant to South Carolina Code 5939-160. Uh, this special called meeting is necessary today because the soccer season is underway and would be more than halfway complete by the time of the next regularly scheduled meeting of the State Board of Education. As you are aware, by statute, the State Board of Education has authority to waive a student's ineligibility to participate in interscholastic activities under certain circumstances. Specifically, South Carolina Code Section 5939-160C1 states that uh, this waiver may be granted when a written statement from a school district superintendent and athletic director has been received stating a student's ineligibility to participate in interscholastic activities is due to misinformation concerning eligibility requirements being provided by district personnel or any reasonable circumstance as determined by the State Board of Education. It's my understanding that we have a representative from the Charleston County School District who's going to provide the State Board with uh, details of this request and that our uh, young uh, athlete, Jose, is also uh, watching, uh, participating today, and that um, the representative from the school district will answer any questions that the State Board may have. Thank you very much, Mr. Tyler. At this time, I would like to introduce the district uh, to, uh, I think the principal is here today. Um, if the principal would like to introduce himself and Carrie, because I think you are dealing with the the issue on the basis of the appeal for uh, Mr. Strauderman and uh, Dr. Huggins. Is that correct, sir? Yes, sir, that is correct. <clears throat> so good afternoon, uh, board chair, Dr. O'Shields, chair elect, Ms. Allison, fellow board members, uh, Ms. Stapleton, Mr. Harrington, Ms. Collier, Ms. Stapleton, Ms. Lee, Ms. Criminger, Ms. Lynn, uh, Mr. Hanley, and Mr. Walters. I, as I said earlier, my name is Ryan Comeback. I'm the very proud principal here at West Ashley High School, and I'm joined by um, Jose Hernandez Cruz, a soccer player here at West Ashley, and I'll be presenting the case this afternoon of the appeal. All right. Thank you, sir. And you may begin, sir. Okay. Uh, once again, thank you for the opportunity to present this appeal on behalf of uh, Mr. Cruz. He, uh, Jose is a senior here at West Ashley High School, and we're here to discuss his eligibility to participate in interscholastic soccer. I know your time is extremely valuable, and the special called meeting is greatly appreciated. Uh, for the last three years, Jose has exemplified exceptional academic diligence. Um, at the end of his junior year, Jose had earned 27 credits. Um, 28 credits at the conclusion of first semester, uh, far surpassing the 24 credits required for graduation in South Carolina. I submitted a copy of Jose's transcript, and I hope that, um, as you can see there, he has taken a very rigorous course load, complete with honors level coursework. Uh, additionally, Jose has taken advantage of the opportunities provided to students at West Ashley High School by taking multiple classes next door at the Center for Advanced Studies. Jose will be a completer in media technology. He's taken all four of the available classes, and he is just one course short of becoming a completer in sports med. Many students in high school mirroring this same track apply for early graduation, and Jose, on the other hand, opted to stay and attempted to be a dual completer. Just for some context, the West Ashley Center for Advanced Studies is a program school available to students who attend three different campuses. West Ashley High School, Baptist Hill High School, and St. John's. And although the CAS is on our campus, they have their own administration and operate on a completely different bell schedule, which is a traditional block. We're hoping today that under the special conditions eligibility section of the bylaws, that um, you agree that we believe Jose's case warrants special consideration. 
The circumstances leading to this ineligibility were not a result of actions taken by him, his family, or in some way West Ashley High School. Rearranging courses at the CAS to balance sections is something that um, we on our end are unable to control. West Ashley High School just transitioned to a year long flex mod schedule. Uh, there's only one other school in the state running this uh, flex mod schedule that's River Bluff High School. In our transition over to the year long uh, schedule with the partnership of the CAS, this was something that we did not uh, envision uh, in, impacting our students in the manner in which it did. At the beginning of the year, Jose's schedule was, was complete, it was full. Uh, it remains complete and full. However, uh, the order in which the classes and when the classes were offered next door uh, was something that, again, was adjusted after the school year had started. Jose's dedication to soccer is beyond uh, second only to his family and his academics. Uh, he was recently elected the team captain, and he is a future collegiate player. Uh, at the National Signing Day uh, ceremony just a few weeks ago, he signed to play in Rome next year as a as a first year college student. Uh, his si situation is unique, and we believe it falls under the extraordinary circumstances provision and warranting special consideration. We, we lack any direct precedent from the State Board of Education for a case like this, but we argue in the spirit of the rules governing student athlete eligibility, um, the reason it was in there was to provide some flexibility in this. And we're very, very fortunate that of the 2,000 students that attend West Ashley, or just, excuse me, 1,900 students that attend West Ashley High School, uh, Jose is the only student that this impacted um, for spring eligibility. So, in conclusion, granting Jose's eligibility now would uphold um, the integrity of the educational and athletic standards. And we very much appreciate you all and, and hope that um, you can provide Jose with this special consideration so that he can play in the last six or seven games of the uh, of his senior year. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Jose, would you? Well. I'll go ahead. Um, do we have a motion? And then we can Allison go to discussion. Moves. Allison moves that we accept this, this uh, that has come before us today. All right, we do have a motion. Do we have a second? Hanley seconds. All right, thank you, uh, Dr. Hanley seconds. At this point, <clears throat> it's open for discussion. Any discussion from anyone? Yeah, I'd like to speak to Jose if I could. That, Jose, that would be perfectly I, fine. I am impressed with your coursework. I am impressed with uh, what what you've been doing, and uh, good for you. So playing in Rome next year, that's uh, not everybody can say that. So good for you. I'm I'm a little bit jealous myself. So thank you, thank uh, you, Sam. <laughs> I'm I'm very impressed, and uh, I, I am actually your representative on this board. So uh, uh, I, I hopefully one day I get to meet you. And we can. Uh, we can talk about all the great things you've done, but I, I'm very impressed and I, I am very much in favor of uh, supporting you in this. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's great. Right. And Dr. Yes, Oshils, I would just like to say to Jose, we're impressed with you. We're thankful for you being a role model there in your school, a great role model. So thank you for what you're doing and uh, we we look forward to a great future for you. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. And and two, I, I was going to ask when the principal said um, playing in Rome. I was thinking Rome, Italy, or Rome as in Georgia and possibly Berry College. But I guess you're going to Italy itself. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I am going to Italy. Most impressive. All right. We have a motion. We have a second. We are. I am duly impressed by his efforts and his. And, and and the schedule just snafu'd you. That's sort of what happened, unfortunately. So, any other discussion? If not, do we have a call for a vote? We have a motion and a second. All in favor of granting Jose this eligibility request, indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposition? Hearing none, Jose, congratulations, sir. We wish you the very best. We wish you, thank you, sir, for spending your time with us as principal. You run a quality school, 
We're very proud of it. And at this point, do um, I have any other information from any board member? Hearing none, Jose, best wishes. Best wishes to West Ashley. Mr. And do I have a motion to adjourn? Well, Preminger, so moved. Preminger, so moves. Do I have a second? Hanley seconds. Hanley seconds. All in favor of adjourning, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Jose, best wishes to you, buddy. Yes, congratulations. Thank you all so, so much. I appreciate it. And, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Comeback, I just want to let you know that we'll be sending you a letter shortly. Uh, so you have written information um, uh, associated with the waiver. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. And, and thank you, John, for getting me out of a mess because sometimes I do that. <laughs> so, uh, good to see everybody. Y'all take care. Love you all. Thank you for who you are, what you do. God bless. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.